every outfit is going to be bam cobra bam cobra bam cobra so apologies in advance hey guys shown here from the oliver shown and welcome back to my channel um i know it's a quick break but i apologize i'm back now and i've got lots of fun stuff to share so if you like fashion shopping smart shopping and thrift shopping then you're definitely in the right place so today's video, I want to share a little new in haul. I don't shop in new in that often, but I got a couple of things for my birthday last month. So I thought I would share. Ready? Great. So I got myself three birthday gifts. Now, this is not excessive. I usually get myself one gift a year, but I didn't get myself a bag, which is what I usually get. So I just kind of split the money into three different things that I liked. So yeah. So anyway, the first two things that I got are two pairs of shoes. So basically I got one pair and then I love them so much that I just thought I had to buy two. Let me show you them, maybe you'll understand. One second. Okay, the first thing that I got myself is this pair of Acampa Kobara shoes. I hope you can see them. Let me put one down, hold on. So these shoes, they might not be for everybody, but they're definitely for me. And they've been around for, they've been around for quite a few years for sure but they recently had like a, not a revamp, but like they just popped up from nowhere like earlier this year. I think they brought in some new colorways and I'm not someone that's like easily influenced, I think. No, I'm not really. I love to like look at people and see what they're wearing and I like to scroll and be inspired, but I hardly ever like look at someone and see something they're wearing. I'm like, I have to have that thing. But I saw these actually on a Vogue fashion editor, American Vogue, um, Naomi Elize. If you've never heard of her, you should know about her. But I saw her wearing these, I think in the Christopher John, John Rogers showroom, just in a really casual outfit. And I was like, oh my gosh. So like click through, did a little bit of research and I found that there were these Kampa shoes, the Cobra shoes, which are actually, I think inspired by the shape of a Cobra. I'm not sure. If that's true, I'll put something up to confirm the truth or the lie. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I got these shoes and then I tried them on. Well, I, first of all, I couldn't decide what colour. So right now on the Camper website, they have them in green, they have them in orange, they have them in white and they have them in black. So I was first drawn to green. I have a couple of white sandals, so I didn't need any. But the green was what really called out to me. So I ordered them, they came, I tried them on, they fit, they were so comfortable. I was excited to put them in all my outfits. But then I was like, I think I need another pair, <laughs> which is not usually me. I'm not very excessive, but Something about these shoes. It's just like, look at the shape, look at the inside, and it has like a. Ah, I can't take it off because of my nails, but you can take out the sole. Hold on. Oops. You can like take out the insole. They have the thicker one and the thinner one, so I put the thinner one in. But it's like, it's so comfortable to stand in. It's like rubber made from recyclable plastic. Like, they're just fantastic. So, anyway, yeah, I love these so much that I just thought I had to get another pair. Can you guess what color I got? I'll give you 10 seconds. Okay, did you guess? Well, I got them in black. Now, I know I am a colorful girl, but I also like neutrals. And I realized, you remember in a few videos ago, I told you like I sold all of my high heels because I just didn't like any of them. Some of them were comfortable. I wanted to start fresh. So I know for some, this is not a high heel, but for me, this is dressed up like, I love Crocs. I love comfort. I love rubber shoes. And then just getting these in the green, I was like, God damn. So I had to get them in the black. So now just know that you'll see me wearing these all summer long. Every outfit is going to be bam, Cobra, bam, Cobra, bam, Cobra. So apologies in advance. So the third thing that I got for myself for my birthday is a two piece set. Now you probably would have seen these around everywhere. Like I've seen them we've seen them on everyone and actually it was actually two people who influenced me to get it look at me i was talking about how i'm not easily influenced but, and i'm not someone that's like easily influenced but this whole video the things that i bought were influenced by other people hmm anyway so the money and uniqlo collaboration came out i want to say a few weeks ago maybe like a month ago it's like a whole big launch everything looked super cool but nothing really like stood out to me i looked through the collection i was like oh these are nice these are nice but I didn't think anything of it. I, I like the clothes that I have. I was fine with what I have. All good. Then my sister, she got the yellow top from the collaboration and um, it looked great on her. And she kindly let me borrow it and I borrowed it. So even when I first like 
held it. I'll show you wore it to wear on my birthday, my birthday brunch. And like the fabric felt like such good fabric. It felt really weighty. It felt like luxurious on. And I was like, wow, I love this. And she didn't buy the trousers, but she just got the top. But I kept it. I wore it for my birthday for the whole day, like lunch and dinner with my friend. I wore it a couple other times as well. And I was just like, I actually really like this, like a lot. Um, so the other day I was in Uniqlo. Well, not casually, actually. Like, I went in there specifically because I've been looking online for this set to find my sister the trousers, but also looking at the pink and white set. And online, it wasn't in my size. So I just thought, let me just check in the store. Maybe I'll get lucky. And boy, did I get lucky. <laughs> so number one, I found the matching trousers for my sister, the yellow one, so she can complete her set, our set. And then I got the set for me, yay! <laughs> so I got the top and I got the trousers. And at the time of upload, will I have taken a picture? Oh, well, if not, I'll put in the selfie from Uniqlo that I took. But um, it fit, it's perfect on, it feels good, it feels great, and I'm really happy that I got it. Like, very happy that I got it. And I'm happy that I didn't see the collection and buy something on a whim just because I wanted to get it. Like, I actually tried on my sister's one, I wore it a few times, I realized that I'd like it, I thought about how I would incorporate it into my wardrobe, so then I bought it. And now, it is mine. <laughs> okay, now the last two things are two pairs of sunglasses, which were kindly sent to me by this black owned brand called Kimeze. So let me tell you all about Kimeze. So Kimeze is a black owned eyewear brand started by two sisters, whose surname is Kimeze. And basically they noticed that there was a gap in the market for glasses that were created to fit the bridges of brown POC noses, basically wider bridges. And like, this has been a thing that's been apparently wide known in the industry, in the optical industry. Who knew there was optical industry drama? <laughs> I digress. Um, so it's well known in the, in the industry that this is like an underserved community. Like there are glasses that are made for like narrow noses, for like um, Asian features, and obviously for Caucasian features. Everything in the world was created for Caucasian features. That's a story for another day. Um, but yeah, it's been widely known that, you know, there have been no opticals created specifically for wider noses like mine. Um, so yeah, the brand reached out to me via Instagram and they were like, oh, you know, if you're doing any shoots coming up, because I'm a stylist slash art director, uh, we'd love for you to feature the brand. And I was like, at that time, I was actually writing a piece for Who, What, Where, which I will link in the bio and I'll maybe put little features here. I was writing a piece on how to style one leather jacket five ways and I just said cool I'll incorporate some of those sunglasses in my looks because actually I wanted to try them first and see if I like them and then incorporate them. They sent them to me, I got two pairs, I love them, I'm obsessed with them. If you follow me on Instagram you would have seen them like all the time on my feed, on my stories like I got a black pair and a white pair and I am obsessed with both of them. I'm going to show them to you now. So they come in these really amazing cases, they're like very luxurious. I think they told me that they're actually gonna, not rebrand, but they're gonna have different cases, but I'm happy with the cases that I have. So they come in this little case. It's like a little, little slidey drawer, which is like nice for storage, visually pleasing. And then you have your little dust bag for sunglasses. And this is the white pair. I'm saying these are called the Gabriels. So this is them on. Actually, I think I have a picture of me wearing this exact same outfit with these sunglasses. But like, look, and look how perfectly they fit on my wide bridge. They feel good, they look good. I really love these. I've been wearing them literally non-stop. People are probably sick of me wearing them. To be honest, the brand are probably sick of me tagging them like every other day, like Kimeze, Kimeze, but I love them. So this is the first pair, and let me show you the second pair. So the second pair are these cat eye style, which I was just about to say they're my favourite, but that would be a lie because I just genuinely can't choose. But look at the shape. Look at the cat eye, but then look, look at the look how it's just fits on my bridge. It's not slipping down. Like for some that might be like, yeah, that's normal. But it's not normal for some of us. It's not normal for me anyway with my my wide nose that I love. I have grown to love. But yes, Kimeze, I just love these sunglasses. I love wearing them. I feel great in them. <laughs> They elevate every look and I'm just obsessed. So if you haven't never heard of them, I've taught you something new today and go shop their sunglasses. And the prices are around 300 pounds. I'll be sure to like put some imagery to show you, but yeah. For luxury, 
I think that's pretty decent. You guys will be paying 700 for Dior, so you can pay 300 for Kimeze. <laughs> okay, should I just carry on the rest of the haul in the sunglasses? <laughs> no, I won't, because the haul is finished. So that is the end of my new in haul. Maybe I should have called it my birthday haul, but it's mostly birthday, a little bit, not really. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like this kind of content, then stick around for more. I'm actually starting a new series coming up very soon, but I'll tell you more about that very, very soon. But yeah, we're gonna have some very interesting conversations. <laughs> um, yeah, so make sure you follow me on Instagram, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.